What's up guys, this is Christian Hannah Hall here today. I wanted to do my Halloween spoiler talk. I did my review and you guys responded well to that. So now I want to talk about some of the spoilers of the movie, what I feel went right, what I feel I just went wrong, and what's, what's in the future. Uh, Character-wise, there were some characters that I felt kind of just didn't really fit in. Um, the only character I really didn't like, well there's two characters I didn't like, the boyfriend of, of Lori's granddaughter. Uh, was definitely just there to get rid of the cell phone. Um, uh, I guess it's just happenstance. It's the way it had to be. Uh, it's a straight up slasher movie. So how much can they really dive into the love relationship? And I think that relationship was purely there just so that maybe the daughter could, you know, the, the granddaughter could find the strength at the end of the movie to show she doesn't need this or doesn't need that. I get it, but it was pretty just matter of fact there uh the relationship between those two uh and then the goofy friend of the boyfriend uh while his character didn't have a lot of depth to it his his kill and the 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 whole scene of that was phenomenal great build up um the only other character i really don't understand i'm not saying i dislike him was definitely the doctor in the movie the character for him was strange it was like he became so obsessed with with Michael that he wanted to kill the sheriff who was trying to take Michael away to have him fight Lori. Uh, just seems a little far-fetched, but during the, the theater experience, I was so deep into the movie that I, I was just, I was in the story with everything. So, no problem with that, but it was definitely a little strange. Um, and, you know, when it comes to Lori's character, again, liked it so much more than than uh, her performance in H2O, uh, but once again, you'd have thought that maybe she would have, over the years, lightened up a little bit and tried to move on with life, but no, Lori's character really, the character of Lori Strode really went off the deep end into this, but I like it, don't get me wrong, uh, my, my reality-based mind says, well, I understand she, she was murdered, and while I can't relate to that, you would think that maybe over time she would have adapted back to reality and real life and just getting on with her family. Uh, but once again, much better than H2O. Um, uh, we're going back to the doctor, the fact that he actually killed the sheriff again to have Michael pursue Lori, uh, once again, just a little odd, but I, I, I get it, but... Uh, just, I, I wish I could have seen his character go on throughout the series because I did, I was intrigued by the, the Doctor's character. Uh, especially the Sheriff, too. I, it, was, it was sad to see him die. He seemed like he could have been a good tie-in for the franchise, another, you know, Sheriff Bracket type character, so to speak. So it was unfortunate to see him go. And uh, the biggest thing I want to talk about is at the end is when Michael is trapped in the basement and it goes off into flames. Obviously, the last shot of that shows Michael looking up at Lori and the family, and then it goes away, and then you look down again, and Michael's gone. Obviously, this already talks about another movie, but my biggest question, you know, thinking back at it was, well, did he die or not? So, I guess you could say he could be dead if no more movies happen, but the fact that we don't see Michael at the end tells me maybe just maybe this guy escaped that basement so that's gonna be interesting uh, as far as other characters I really enjoyed the the two the two interview the interviewers the podcast type uh, the British people I thought they were great I wish we could have seen more of them throughout the movie but I like their I like their roles in the movie uh, it was a shame because a lot of the characters in the movie I like they all died but uh, that's, it's a slasher movie, so what do you expect? Um, I, I've seen some uh, complaints about this movie. I, I'm kind of surprised. And, I, you know, in my circle, I, I've seen people who were so excited for this movie come out really disappointed. Um, I'm, I'm really not sure why. I thought this movie delivered on a grand scale. John Carpenter's theme was phenomenal. So, I, you know, the cinematography I talked about was great. And I thought a lot of the kills were great. I thought Michael was scary, just as, as all get out. Uh, but some people thought he was silly. They thought he was a joke. They thought he was a, a phony. I, I don't know. Um, so I really enjoyed, really, really enjoyed Michael. I think Michael was probably the best part of the movie. Uh, his, his character was great. There was talks, I think, in a deleted scene. Uh, maybe it'll be a, a deleted scene shown. 
that Laurie's character caused the bus crash. We don't see this in the movie, but I wonder if that was the case. They kept that very vague and very open. And I understand going back to the mystique of the first movie, not knowing so much, but I really would have liked to have known what caused that bus to crash. So, you know, that was interesting to me, uh, how they just kind of bam, bam, thank you, ma'am, let's go, let's get this movie going. Uh, so, in my mind, Lori made that bus crash, um, but obviously in the movie, it seems like they changed things up and re-edited stuff. Maybe they, they changed it if they did, if the original plan was to have Lori's character crash the bus, maybe they changed it to not make Lori show so vindictive and just more of an aggressive type character. They still wanted her to seem not vulnerable, but still innocent, pure protagonist type. So, uh, interesting. I would have liked maybe more of a little of a, of a darker shade of gray dynamic with Lori than we already had. But other than that, um, as far as complaints about the movie, I, I'm trying to really find a major complaint. I don't have it. I know I talked about maybe them really being brother and sister. I waited for the moment to where it really seemed like, okay, this is why they're not brother and sister, but I didn't see it happen. Um, in my mind, it still would have been as scary if they were brother and sister. Not that it's the biggest gripe in the world for me, but so it goes. That's, that's just my thought process. So, uh, obviously there's already talks about a sequel. There's talks about the writing process going on and that David Gordon Green and Jason and, and David Gordon Green and Danny won't be involved. Uh, I really kind of hope they will be. Uh, maybe John would direct. That'd be something. But John's old. I'm sure he doesn't really feel like it. He probably really enjoyed doing the music for this and getting getting Jamie Lee Curtis to come back for another movie. I mean, the movie was majorly successful. I think it did 93 million uh, so far. So that's incredible. But time will tell. We'll let you guys know more about that. So please tell me your your biggest uh, you know most love moments of the movie and you're not most love moments of the movie what you would have changed etc uh this is christian hannah horror with halloween 2018 spoiler talk uh we've got a horror haul coming up next i'm gonna show you guys some really great NECA stuff i got but until then we'll see you guys next time